No matter where you shop for groceries, you should be able to find some version of three-minute chow mein noodles. You can do all kinds of different things with them, but I particularly enjoy my take on chicken chow mein. Because the noodles are vegan approved, sometimes, however, I'll make a vegan version chow mein, replacing the chicken with chickpeas or cashew nuts. Let's check out what you will need. Starting with a decent sized pot to boil the noodles and to mix everything in, you'll also need a wok, skillet or fry pan for cooking the chicken and the vegetables. You will have to source some oyster sauce and have some soy sauce on hand, but all other ingredients for making the sauce should be readily available in most kitchens. Many larger grocery stores will carry oyster sauce, but failing that it will be available at your local Asian grocery. I use a vegetarian version. And uh, I'm going to put in a bit of um, uh, roasted sesame oil, just a bit. You, you, a little bit goes a long way with this. Uh, a couple tablespoons of brown sugar, and that's a homemade chicken broth that I made. So I'll mix it all together. I'll show you the ingredients on the screen. This is uh, cornstarch to make it all hold together. Very simple, and it produces a very delicious chow mein. I will put the list of sauce ingredients back up on the screen before the video is over. Now let's move on to the other ingredients I am using today. These are the vegetables I like to use in my version of chicken chow mein, but there are obviously no limitations on what can be used. Quite often it simply depends on what is available. Uh, we like lots of greens in it, so there'll be lots of snow peas, lots of asparagus. There'll be some green pepper, uh, some colored bell peppers, lots of carrot and celery. I'll also fold in four cups of chopped up cabbage. A quick look at the vegetables ready to go. Now on to the chicken. Just tenderized two medium sized chicken breasts, tenderizing hammer, and now I'm going to cut it up into small morsels and uh, brine it. You can use the fork for scale to determine what I mean by small morsels. After an hour of brining I will do another hour of a simple tenderizing prep trick that will make the chicken melt in your mouth. And no, I haven't lost my mind. After rinsing the brine off of the chicken morsels, I will soak them in 6 ounces of tonic water or sparkling water with 1 quarter cup of soy sauce for an hour, after which I will rinse the chicken again. So you can see how nice the chicken looks. A really nice, clean, flaky, and tender. Let's take a close-up look at the chicken. The brining seems to alter the texture while the tonic water and soy sauce marinade adds a subtle flavor to every morsel. It is absolutely delicious prepared this way and now it has me imagining what other dishes I can use chicken prepared this way in. Briefly summarizing this entire effort, I begin by cutting the chicken into small morsels then brining for an hour after which I marinate it in tonic water with soy sauce for another hour. I then mix the chow mein sauce following the list of ingredients and quantities shown here on the screen. While the chicken is cooking in the wok, the asparagus is done separately in the microwave with both set aside to be added later. Then I begin cooking the veggies in the wok, starting with the denser carrots and celery, then the cabbage, a few minutes later the bell peppers and onions, and then finally the snow peas. Once the chicken and asparagus are folded in, we are now ready to mix it all with the sauce and the already prepared 3 minute chow mein noodles. And this family favorite is the result. Well that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and as always I hope to see you next time. When the stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights you'll be alright and I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through.